What's going on everyone? Metalblade427 here and I welcome you back to the next episode of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. In the last episode, we took the ferryman's boat that was on the Jigon River and we took it to a brand new area, Mount Kelanda, which is an entire dungeon in its own right. We went through some of the more confusing areas, which isn't really the most confusing map of the game, surprisingly enough, and we ended up beating the Iron Giant, thus earning our first drop of myrrh for the year. Now, I have gone back and I have gotten the water element for my chalice. I also got a lot of money. So why don't we go on head down over here to this miasma stream and make our way to the next area. So we'll enter this. Now remember, Mog is not with us going through these streams. Uh, I'm going to drop this and I'm going to talk to this guy really quickly. Hey, there's a selkie named Nam in the, in the village of Shella. Yeah, we heard about that uh, individual. He can somehow survive out in the miasma without a crystal. He said that he was searching for a way to travel without needing to lug crystal around. I think he's wasting his time. He said, by the way, and seemed to know all about me. I heard that Nam, Nam was heading this way for his research. Hmm, guess we missed each other. Yeah, I guess so. But uh, just to show you really quickly, uh, nope, that's not what I want to show. My money is, is now at like 15,000 gold. So uh, if I come across any skits where they need money or if I need to make anything or anything like that, I'm uh, pretty confident that I'm going to have the ability to do so. So now we're going to walk through this water one and be all good that way. Also, at the end of the last episode, I said that this next region has two dungeons in it, and one of them is where we are able to get the rare unknown fifth element. That is false. Um, it's not until the beginning of the fifth year that we can go to the area where we can get the fifth element. Uh, I, however, here in this next area that we're going to are two dungeons, and that will end out year four for us. So, let's spin the world map. And welcome to the Rabena, Rabena, Rabina Plains? Rabina, like Reba, Rabina, Reba McIntyre Plains? Sure, why not? Okay, so we have right here two dungeons. You can see one up top and one on the bottom. We're going to go straight and then kind of like that downish diagonal to the Conal Karak. Conal Karak? Karach? C-H is an Atch or is an Ack? I don't know. English is weird. This marsh has thwarted travelers since ancient times. The rain that falls here is thick with miasma, much to the chagrin of prospective intruders. In days of old, the Selkies were driven from their ancestral home. They marched ever westward in search of a new haven. Here, they built bridges over the swamp, and at long last reached the other side. But once there, they found no land to call home. Aww, that's so sad. But I think now in this part of the game, once we start going through these particular uh, dungeons, you're going to get some Selkie backstory. Like, they give you the Lilites backstory, they give you a little bit of the Yuke's backstory when we were up by uh, Shella and everything, and now they're giving us the Selkies. I assume the Clavits are just humans, and if you know those stories, then that's pretty much it. Um, I am going to go into my command list really quickly. So we have... A, uh, do I really want to... Yes, you know what? Yes, we will do that. I am going to go ahead... Then I am going to throw a Blizzard Ring, and we're going to throw a Thunder Ring here. So this way I have a Gravity Spell on hand. I'm going to mostly be concentrating on physical attacks throughout the course of the, um, you know, the remainder of the game, just because they're the easiest to work with. Here, carry this slave. But um, once I get a Life Spell, I am going to have two spells pretty much at the ready at all times. Gravity and Holy. There's going to be a lot of enemies coming up that are weak to holy or are uh, transparent to the point where you need holy in order to be able to hit them. Plus, there's going to be a lot of flying enemies coming up. So if you ground a flying enemy, you're able to do more damage to it when it's on the ground. So those are going to be kind of like my go-to spells for, ow, for uh, the remainder of the game. I, the thing of it is, though, I was doing some practice runs 
And the next dungeon is, oh my god, the next dungeon is such a pain. Actually, these dungeons are all a pain, because it's like, you gotta kind of run around and explore, oh crap, um, all the areas, and they're just, they're just huge maps to get through. You know what, let's, let's put that gravity to the test right here. Ready, and go down. Is that gonna work? Oh no, you're a bomb, you're always levitating. Oh crap, he's doing multiple bad things. It's an explosion, are you gonna summon that, please? There it is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, take the Phoenix down. Take the Chili Gel. Very nice. And ah, shoot him. Ha! Ah, canceled your attack, jerk. Come here. Hey, get over here. Come here, you. Yeah. There we are. Um. Oh yeah, right. You explode. Uh, you're fire. I'm actually gonna leave most magicites behind. Um. Hey, there's another little guy. You just jump out of the water for, you know, because you're a fish dude, so why not? Uh, I'll also probably be cutting out a few things here and there as uh, we go along. Like, for right now, you're just going to kind of see me explore and run through and everything like that. See the basic uh, beginning of uh, the map. But, ow! Shocking! Please get out of that, thank you. But um, as I continue on, I'll probably be uh, cutting out and everything just because... These maps are watered. They are huge. And to get around from point A to point B in just like non cutting and everything would be. Oh, I didn't even pick that up. Oh well. Would uh, probably just feel like your time is wasted or anything. And I don't really want to do that. I'm trying my best also to get everything I possibly can. Um, or at least kill things uh, the best I possibly can anyway. Um, yeah. Some of these paths are so. This particular one is so narrow. It's like annoying and I'm also about to die. All right, life spell. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this phoenix down off and we're gonna throw the life spell here. We're going to split. We're going to fuse with life and boom. See, so that's it. So now I have a regular spell, a regular spell and a life. So you can switch this around between blizzards and fires and thunders and anything that you see fit. I'm actually also going to eat a piece of meat. Perfect. I think I healed enough. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Um, I, I believe this path right here would open up for you. Like, you would have an extended path right there if you were able to destroy a bridge in Damon's Court, which I had no idea about, even though I did Damon's Court several times. But, uh, whoo, hi, who's attacking? It's a bomb, and he's blocking my way, so if he goes down, run back a little bit, and boom. Ow! Give me a little... Get rid of that blizzard, I don't want it. I actually would like a cure spell. If anybody can drop a cure spell, you, you drop a cure spell for me. What do you say? How about how about dropping that cure? Now, whoa! Chili blob? Chili gel. Nice. So, um, yeah, as you can see, my strength is pretty high right now. I can take those guys down in three hits, no problem. Hey, get come down here, you jerk. There we are. So, physical attacks are kind of the way that I'm gonna be going with this. Yeah, there we are. This also area is pretty straightforward, at least for now, anyway. At least until I get to the next area. Get away from me. Um, do I want to fight? Yeah, you know what? Let me play this guy now. Hold on. Ow! Come on. What is it? Oh, it's a seed. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't get much from that. I got a piece of meat. I got a, uh, a clear stone, as you saw over there, and I just kind of left that. Clear is not really, like, that good of a spell. At least I don't think so, anyway. I understand what it's mainly used for, you know, to heal you from all of those nasty status elements that uh, come with uh, the game, but honestly, you could probably just cure yourself out of it, or get... There we are. Ha! Ah, what how many... Oh! Run, 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 run. How many, like, charge shots it'll take to kill you? Oh, or I could just miss. That's another thing that'll happen. Get down here. There we go. One charge shot, one swipe. That's good. Louie. Take some more gil. The gil count is actually not that high. Why did I only get 10 gil? Not that it matters. I have more than enough gil to uh, last anyway. Oh, spring water. Just a quick heal item. And our next chest, which is... Ooh, a design for a mighty weapon. That's actually an upgrade weapon for uh, my character. I don't think I have the materials I need in order to make it. But at least I have it, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens as I start picking stuff up. I'm gonna kill these guys right now. All right, everybody has been cleared out of here, which is good. There was actually something I missed in the beginning of um, this area, and that would be that there was a stone in the very, very beginning that had writing on it that only Selkies could read. 
So that's even more into the lore of uh, Selkies for this game, as opposed to, you know, all the other... Uh, oh my god, look at everybody! Holy crap! Uh, all the other uh, tribes. If I was a Selkie, I'd be able to read it. Being that I am not a Selkie, I cannot, so it would just be, uh, like, a, a legible thing for me. And, you know, say something like, I can't understand this or something like that. There is another one! Ah, go, go, go! Ah, Alright, you go down. Oh, crap. There is another one, um, a little bit later on in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find that. But until then, I'm going to run away and try not to die. Alright, got a Thunderball from him. I'm pretty sure I had that already, but, uh... Let's head south right now. I think there's a bunch of treasures south of here. The idea is to continue moving off to uh, the north northwest ish or whatever. I have um, kind of a guide of sort up next to me, just because I have no idea where I'm going in these areas. And I'm trying to at least collect... There we go, nice. What is this? Mythic shield. I actually already have that. I'm just going to avoid you guys as well. But, um, oh, you wanna come? You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Jerk, come on! Yeah. Oh, the little, uh, scroll thing got in the way. Ow! Ugh. Sword will hit both of you! Yeah. There we are. Okay. But yeah, because I really have no idea where the heck I'm going, um, having a, a, a guide next to me to at least kind of give me basic idea about where I should be heading and what I should be looking for is necessary at this point. Oh, jeez, get, get away, you, why, where is my cure spell? Why have I not found that yet? I mean, I don't mind receiving all of the monies and everything from everyone, even if it is only like 10 to 15 gil, apparently. But even still, like, I would like to be able to uh, heal myself. That would be, that would be super if I could heal myself. Please die, thank you. Flurry of attacks right there. Uh, let's hit up this way. More bombs, more enemies. I'm probably just gonna be passing by them because I really just don't want to have to be bothered. Oh my god, this area is so huge! Oh man! Any more chests? Is this one? Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so read. The stone is inscribed with an ancient Selkic script. Unfortunately, I got hit. Um. Oh jeez, hang on a second. Unfortunately, the words are a mystery to you. So there you go. I wouldn't be able to read it anyway. So. There are, uh, two of those in here. One right in the beginning that I passed by just because I was more interested in moving forward and, uh, you know, moving on with uh, this dungeon and completely missed it. And then there's the second one right there. I don't really know what it is. Maybe I'll go online or something like that and I'll let you guys know what they say or... Oh, please! Oh, crap. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, healing. Run! Run! Stupid bomb thingy keg of spring water. It's not usually what I eat in kegs or drink in kegs, but that's all right. Die! Whoa! Give me a cure spell when you explode. Man, more of another thunderball. I'm going to be dropping those shortly. All right, so if I run up this way past this jerk, I'm pretty sure this will lead me up to the next area. Awesome. Sweet. Everything is right on track. I love it. Alright, so in this next area of the marsh, we're going to be finding a bunch of different branching paths, as you can see right here. Um, we have a split path already. Mm, yeah, we're going to go this way. Wait, right? This is the western path? This is the western... Oh, no, no, no. Uh, we're going to go this way. Ah, I changed my mind. I'm trying to read and figure out what the most efficient route is. And what also sucks is these enemies are going to start blocking my way, so i got to hack my way through them make my way up and around. Whoa! Come on, Mog. Let's go. Keep up with me. Oh, things in the water. Well, let me kill them. Hold on a second. All right. You good, Mog? You had enough uh, resting right there? Perfect. Let's go. Moving right along past things. More branching paths. I want to say this leads to a treasure chest this way. Um, yeah, we go this way. We go this way. We keep avoiding things like crazy. Oh my god, everything's trying to kill me. And then all the way at the end here is, boom, a treasure chest with a sparkling bracer, which I think increases my defense. So that's our first relic for uh, the dungeon. The relics don't seem to come around uh, that quickly as uh, the other dungeons did. But then again, these like later dungeons are all, uh, you know, significantly larger than the original one. Ah, run away. 
take, take, take. Let's go this way. And um, I'm gonna head back really quickly. I'm gonna do the cutout and everything because I'm probably gonna kill some things along the way. Hopefully something will drop a uh, cure spell and then I'll let you know if I find anything good. Okay, so here's that split path that I was in before. I took the uh, the right side over first. Now I'm gonna go up through the left. Apparently you needed to destroy the bridge in Damon's Court and I guess I did that more than twice. Or you just needed to do twice because this is what the bridge was. So with that destroyed, it apparently went down river and got itself caught in the, uh, the path here. So I'm able to run around and get back over here. And supposedly there are some chests back here that are pretty good? Maybe? Possibly? Let's actually find out if I can actually- Oh no! Nope, no chests over there, just a lot of enemies still coming at me. Holy crap! Uh, here's one. Let's open this up and we'll take a design for mithril armor. Eh. Let's just keep running north- uh, Mog! Mog! <laughs> what are you doing? Why? Why? Hurry up! Holy crap! Oh my god, they're coming at me! Back! Back, foul fish things! Oh boy! Run, run, run! Ooh! You know what, Mog? Drop it! I'll carry it! Holy crap, you are useless! I can outwalk them faster than you can outfly them, apparently! Oh my god, there's something else here! You look bigger and nastier than the other guys that I'm fighting! Oh my god, there's so many! There's so many! There's another thing! <laughs> well, hurry up! Crap! The design? What is it? A soul of the lion? That sounds really cool, actually. Wow. Okay, Mog. Mog, please pick up. Please pick up. Please help me. Oh, crap. I got a cure spell, which is nice. Please heal myself. Go! Woohoo! Woo! Oh, boy. Run away. Oh, crap. Holy! Holy crap! Kill everything, please. Please, everything die. Yeah! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm just gonna keep this in because it's kind of humorous as well as uh, scary. Yeah! Oh my god, die! Run! Run! Pick a few hits and then run! Get! Get! Wow! Wow, ow! Oh, I died! Heal with the uh, the Phoenix down. Thank you. Alright, let's take down this. Try to take down. Oh, crap! Crap! Wow! Uh, <laughs> um. Taking a lot of damage, and I don't really want to. Phoenix down, put back on the list, run away a little bit more, get my cure spell. Oh my god, and they're, they're blocking Mog from being able to uh, follow me, so it's not like... Wow! Okay, I think maybe I need to kill the big guy back here first. He needs to go... There we are! He goes down. He didn't drop... Oh, wow! But he gives up! Wow, I thought he was putting his hand up saying that, uh, he gave up. But apparently they all died as soon as the big guy went down, so... Wow, that was something. Okay, so if you destroy both bridges, you can come back here, go crazy fighting things, and get something that's the soul of a lion? Is that what that was? There it is, lion soul. A design of an accessory for Lilities. Ah, crap. Damn it. Ugh. Alright, I'll meet you back down when I find something cool. All right, let's take the right path again. Let's head up this way. And this should loop us around to some type of weird four-way intersection. Hey, a flan! Check that out. Die? Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm probably going to have to holy him. Oh, nope, he just died. That's cool. <laughs> They'll probably be making uh, more appearances as we go around this way. So, uh, whoop, yep, see, ah, uh, there's a thingy in my path. I have to kill this thing or else uh, I won't be able to proceed because I can't run around it. Yoink! Come on, Mog, this way. And, oh, frog things! I don't know what those are called, they're just frog things. That is what I deem you as a name, and that is what you shall be known. Large frog things. Did you die? Nope, you didn't die. Please, good! Ugh. Okay, good. Ooh, we got some meat. I'll have to make sure to take that later, because it's just a little bit easier to uh, heal myself. Um, I guess this is that four-way intersection. We have a bunch of different ways we can go. I'm going to go this way first. There is, like, um, a few different areas that we can run around to. I just want to see if uh, this is the right way or not, because I'm looking for something in particular. You probably can guess 
what it is that I should be looking for. If I can actually get around to certain areas. This looks like holes. There may it may be here. Let's just kind of bring me into a. Oh my God! Run away! Wow, I'm just going all the way type south with all these frog things all at me. Holy crap, look in the mall. Jeez. Oh, here's a chest. Oh, Kaiser Knuckle. Sweet. I'll take that. Oh, I see Examine. Examine. Yes. The hole seems somehow inviting. Let's step inside. So I've been thinking about a ways in terms of uh, getting all of uh, the Moogle stamps and everything. And I pretty sure I have a good idea about how I want to do it and that's going to pretty much involve um, uh, going back through I obviously have to go back through areas that I missed the stamps in but um, there will be a particular time during the game where I can do that sort of it's kind of hard to explain right now and I have to do a little bit of a practice test in order to be able to make sure that it'll work out the way I want it to but in theory I should be able to go back to all of the areas that I've been before and collect um, uh, the, the Moogle steps that I missed. Plus then I'll just use a guide online to be able to get them. Again, as I said earlier in the playthrough in terms of the Moogle stamp wise, they're really, they really mean nothing to me other than, um, you know, just to have them and everything. But it would be nice to collect them all just because, again, I've never actually collected them and I don't... Am I supposed to go this way? Oh, just another chest. Look at all these chests, just one after another. Designed for lightning gloves. Cool. I want lightning gloves. Like, I really just want to put them on and use them and other things. Oh, there was something else that I happened to uh, come across during my research of this game. You can actually fuse weapons and elemental abilities together, but I can't do it now because I don't... Designed for it. There. Wow, that's really cool. Is that for everybody? I'm speaking of like weapons and items and everything. Uh, yeah, it's for anyone. And also, my items have now been full. So let's eat something since so I can get at least one thing open. Do I have. Uh, you know what? I'll deal with that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, you can actually like fuse together um, elemental uh, magicites and weapons. And that will grant the weapon a elemental attack, which I thought was really cool like an awesome idea that i never knew was in this game um i'm gonna try to do that later on like once i oh this is just one big circle i need to go north. um i'm gonna try to do that later on once i get another weapon if i'm able to get another weapon so i don't know what i need in order to be able to uh make a new one but if i can then i'll show you guys that particular combination and uh we'll see what happens from there and i'm in a dead end with a mage masher which is cool get a little bit extra um magic in that but uh i have to figure out where the hell i'm going so let me kill these guys and then i'll let you know what needs all right so now we're back on the main path and apparently if i just keep heading east i'll be able to make it out of this area nope that's not it that brings me to a dead end um, do I have to go down and east? I'm, I'm slightly confused about, you know, where this, <laughs> where they want me to go. Um, oh, no, there we are. Perfect. Excellent. So now we're on part three. Uh, this is, according to the, <laughs> my guide that I'm reading, is kind of a straight shot to the boss fight. I can't wait to get to the boss because the boss of this area is, like, ridiculously easy because I fought him before. But... These guys are much more of a challenge. You should recognize these guys if you're a fan of uh, Final Fantasy. These are behemoths, and I'm getting beaten the crap out of by this thing. Run away. Run away. Holy crap. Okay, let's keep moving. Run, 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 run. Holy crap. Oh, boy. Yeah, so I need to uh, heal myself for one. And then here we are starting to already come across guys that need the holy spell in order to make them... Uh, able to be hit and everything and I'm out of space that's just wonderful oh crap uh hold on one second ah bolts of blue silk very nice I think I need that in order to be able to make um certain accessories and things like that oh god that's a that's a evil guy it's a dark flan so you need to use the holy spell in order to make him uh capable of being hit but even still, he'll chase you down and try to poison you and all kinds of craziness. Hey, a chest with 
Something that I can't carry. Ah, oh, crap. Ugh. Ugh, so much useless stuff. Get out of my way, Mog. Oh my god, I'm just kicking this magicite all around. Sure, this is the way I'm gonna carry things now. I'll just kick it. Oh, crap. Uh, the, um... The, the design that I picked up was another, like, victorious weapon or something like that. So, I, I have two of them now, apparently, so I guess I'll just sell one. You know what it is? The, um, the specs actually sell for a pretty decent amount of gold, or, or gill, or whatever. I gotta remember what series it is that I'm playing. Um, so I might as well just hold on to them and, uh, sell them in between episodes and things like that way. Thank you. Oh, God, come on, die! There we are. Nice. So, pretty much the entire purpose of this is just to kind of follow the paths north and uh, avoid dying, because there's a behemoth right there. Let's avoid him like the plague. There's another behemoth over here that sees me with some dark flames. Holy crap! This- look at this area! Oh my god! Things are crazy! There was another chest over here that I wanted to grab before I uh, went anywhere else. And it's a design! I can't hold it! Oh, no, 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 no! Um... Uh, uh, healing? Healing? Any type of healing? Please? Please? Sure. We'll, yeah, that's not gonna heal me enough. Spring water! Drink! That's still not gonna heal me enough. We'll, we'll see what happens. Crap! Ugh! Okay, design for a lightning belt. I can't use belts because of, uh... Run! Run! Mog! Mog! Oh, crap. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, he was stuck! That was not fun! Get away! Okay, now... Now I've come to the point in this dungeon where I just do not care in any way, shape, or form. Oh my god, they're surrounding me. Get away! Please run. Please run. Oh, man. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, crap! Okay, there we are. Much better. Get rid of everything that's here. Um, we have a chest. We're getting close to... Yeah, whatever. We're getting close to the boss. I know that it should just be a little bit further. Yep, here we are. Let's go. All those treasure chests, I want them, even though I don't have the inventory space for it. There's the tree right there, all nice and glowy. I mean, is that my boss? Little goblin guy? Nope. No, of course not! It can't be that easy to just fight the little goblin guy. Oh, that treasure gun! Well, that's scary, intimidating, and crazy. This right here is... The Dragon a Zombie! Yes, that is exactly what the name is, and that, you know, is kind of what we're going to be dealing with. Uh, we have this one little, like, aqua lizard guy or whatever that pops up that I would highly recommend taking down first. Um, but otherwise that, these rafts are really the only way you have to move around the, the, uh, the field. So, you may think that this is, like, problematic because there's not much place to move, but Let's cast Holy on this zombie dragon, and look at how much damage that he takes from a Holy. Yup. So that's why this battle is kind of a joke. All you gotta do is just generally avoid his attacks and spam Holy one after another after another. So he has a few different things as you can see right there. A lot of it are status effects. He poisoned me. He had me petrified uh, temporarily right there. I don't know what some of his other things are, but generally speaking, I'm just gonna keep spamming holy one after another, and then once this lizard guy comes back, I'm gonna just take him down as fast as possible. Um, the dragon zombie will go back to his, um, I guess, aerial form, or whatever form. Well, yeah, there we go, see, like that, where he can't be hit by uh, physical means. So, you just gotta keep casting holy in order to bring him back into the world of the living, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, here we are. And then just, uh, keep whittling him down. Uh, not really slowly, but surely, but it is definitely, you know, well enough. Woo! Go away! And this is really it. This is the entire boss fight. Like, it's, it's 
compared to how the level was in terms of getting lost and all that other stuff, um, the boss is really easy. One or two more holies, and that's gonna be pretty. Oh, one more holy. Down you go. Kaboom. Nice. Awesome. Release the spirit of the dragon zombie. And I'm gonna show a little bit of this just because, you know, you gotta walk up in the tree and all that stuff, but we'll probably be skipping it shortly. It's just such a beautiful sight. I love looking at the trees when they're in full bloom. And then they give us that one drop and then they wilt for three years. However that works. Alright, throw that onto the pedestal. And now I'm actually going to hit the skip button. So we know what happens, we got a diary entry, awesome, and of course, Mail Moogle comes to our service. Let's see who sent us a letter this time. Could it be Mom? Because she's apparently the only one that likes to send me letters. Uh, Herdy. I think that's actually one of the sisters. That would be awesome. If you had one wish that would grant you happiness, what would you wish for? What is happiness to you? Let's see what my choices are. To eat fish, a good life for my family, just living. You know what? I'm gonna go the family route and say good life for all my family. And we will send you an item I have more than enough to send, that's for sure. Um, why don't you take... Take this Thunderball. I don't really need them anymore, so... Perfect. Good. Let's get out of this. Done. Here you go, buddy. Take that back. And now we get to see what the stipulation for this particular dungeon was, and how I ended up doing. Hopefully I get something good in the long run. Don't use focus attacks! Fail! That's all I ever used a lot of it. Oh, I still pass 100. Wow, that was a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. Usually the stuff that I think is going to be, like, low ends up being ridiculously high for some reason. I don't know, but we have the Giant's Glove. We have Kaiser Knuckle. We have Defense Bracer. We have Rat's Tail. And we have the one, obviously, I'm going to pick, the Gobby Pocket, which will gain another command slot. I'm pretty sure in terms of story, that's the last one we can get. We can get another pocket somewhere. But I think there's a special circumstance that I have to do in order to get it. I have to do a little bit more research on that. But that, as they say, is that, my friends. In the next episode, we cross the river over here and make our way to this area, which is Rabina Terra. Rabina Terra? Whatever. It's... it's it's whatever this language is for the most annoying place in the world because the puzzles here are original, but they're obnoxious, and it's one huge maze. So this is not going to be fun. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, Metal Blade 427. In the next episode, we get lost in the Rabena Tebra, or whatever. Um, in between, I'm going to sell some stuff so I have some inventory space. And until next time, you guys have a good one, and I'll catch you all later.